Yo, what's good in the hood, people? It's your boy back at it again. I'm bringing you another video. This is going to be my first impressions of the Call of Duty World War II beta. Now, for anybody who's seen my videos, you know I'm very anti World War II in these games because, I mean, we got like a few years of Call of Duty World War II games as well as Medal of Honor and Battlefield and whatever, you know, other games came out. So I'm quite against it, but I am going to give this game a chance because, I mean, shit, let's face it, it's Call of Duty. Call of Duty makes great shooters, so I can't be mad. So I'm gonna start off with all the good stuff first. I'm gonna start off with stuff that I liked coming from this game, and then I'll go into the bed and, uh, I mean, you guys can tell me what you think about everything in the comments. I know somebody's going to call me an asshole or whatever. That's cool. So let's get right in it. First off, I'd like to say the game speed matches the theme of the game. Like the game, I don't expect this game to be extremely fast. I don't expect to see a massive amount of running gunning because it's World War II. It's a slower game. It's a slower paced war. I expect things to be at a slower pace. So I'm kind of glad that they nailed that. I'm glad it's not, you know, Infinite Warfare or Black Ops version of World War II. It's a slower game, and that works. I'm cool with that. So on to the next thing. The weapons in here, they actually feel great. I mean, it's the feel, it's hard to describe. I may sound like a fucking psychopath or a serial killer right now, but it's hard to explain because when you fucking shoot at somebody, you feel those bullets hitting them. And you know it's fucking hurting them, and it's going to kill them. You know, uh, it just it just feels perfect. It feels great hitting the body, and you know, it feels like it's doing what it's supposed to do. So, on to the next one. Uh, the weapons and the game itself, uh, game sound, great. Like the atmosphere, you know, hearing the bombs dropping, and and like just, just little things, the planes in the air. Uh, gun sounds in general it just sounds like you're in a, a, a big war it sounds like you're in a big war everything has a great sound to it like there's a difference between shooting a shotgun with the regular bullets the regular shells and then shooting with the incendiary shells and how it sounds hitting somebody's body it just it's far superior than any other call of duty moving on the divisions in the game aren't as bad as they made it sound. When 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 they were talking about divisions, they made it seem like it was going to be uh, something very very similar to Battlefield. And me not really being a Battlefield player, I didn't care for what you know for what they were explaining to me. I, I didn't care for that. But actually playing divisions, divisions actually seem like they're setting it up to be more of a a way to prevent people from being OP throughout the entire campaign. You know, uh, just being a super OP, running dead silence and and you know ghosts and everything all in one. You know, you're not gonna be perked out or attachment a fucking attachment junkie in here. No, it's it's gonna be limited to you know if you have what is it airborne not airborne but whatever the other one is that gives you three attachments then that's going to be the one that you're probably going to use but you won't you know it's not like you're going to have six different attachments on your gun all day long you know so moving on to the next one the time to kill is actually pretty fast and, it, and i say it's pretty fast but it's actually fast in the sense of for this game, it doesn't feel like I get I, I got put down too fast, and I don't feel like I put people down way too fast. Now they may end up adjusting that, and because I, I think the time to kill, like I said, it is it is fast, but it, it feels appropriate for the particular guns that you're using. You know, I didn't I didn't feel like somebody used a really really slow gun and it put me down really fast in two hits or something like that. Moving on again. I gotta say the graphics on here look pretty good. Um, I guess just coming off of Infinite Warfare, I mean, between this and Infinite Warfare, I think those two games actually look pretty spectacular. Uh, they don't look better than Battlefield, of course. I wouldn't say that. They don't look better than Star Wars Battlefront. I wouldn't say that either. But they look pretty good. So I do like that you can uh, 
attach and detach the suppressors when you're using the airborne division that's actually pretty cool you're not actually stuck with it because sometimes the suppressor can be a bit of a hindrance in call of duty games like you feel like you're just not getting that i don't know that power behind your shots you know so being able to take the suppressor off is actually pretty good uh pretty useful tool to have and i can't remember if that was in any other call of duty um let me know in the comments below i feel like that was in another call of duty and i just can't quite think of which one so moving on again the glided missile is actually the best kill streak in the game it's the most satisfying i don't want to say it's the best but it is the most satisfying uh glide bomb excuse me but i gotta say that's the best one in the game and i quite enjoy it so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am going to do a part two to this impressions video. It's just going to be, it's mainly negative feedback, but it's fair feedback. So uh, be sure to look out for that video. It's going to be coming probably within the next day. Maybe the day after the beta drops because the beta drops again this Friday. So yeah, just be sure to look out for that video. And like always, if you enjoy the content, make sure you comment like the videos subscribe and share share them on any of your favorite sites